cyclist for Sukma 98 as well as an active fencer. And I'm here to present to you my product which is totally related to sports. It's called Fan XT. And our mission is to be the worldwide leader in fantasy sports. Now if you Google the word fantasy sports today, you notice that there's a lot of fantasy sports sites that is offering fantasy sports for US-based sports. Sports like NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, Major League Soccer, and more. And so far, we have accumulated a total of 120,000 users from across the world. Today, we have games such as Fantasy English Premier League, Fantasy Euro 2012, and Fantasy F1. And all these games are playable on different platforms such as on our website, on Facebook app, on iPhone, as well as an, on, on Android. You don't need us. I mean, you're already... Uh, um, well, that's what everybody says. Um, but as you can see, a uh, market changes very fast. Um, we're looking for expansion and growth. Um, um, we, we're looking for quite a, sub a substantial amount of money so that we can actually be the leader in fantasy sports. You need to do say thank you to my G. Oh, okay. Congratulations, though. Oh, we're in. You next made round. it to the next right. round. That's good. So, okay, start spending this money. <laughs> yes, kidding. as soon as you bank it in, <laughs> you can start off with a drink. Okay, so go all for right? it tonight. Get directly. <laughs> well, I definitely hope to win because, as FanXT's tagline says, winning is not everything, it's actually the only thing. So I hope that I can be able to get some investment from the judges and I hope the judges will be able to like my idea and I can walk away with at least some good investment. i just like to say this last opportunity, I'd like to pay tribute to one of our ex-staff who has passed away. His name is Muhammad Ashraf, Muhammad Yusuf. He left us uh, last year. Uh, he was actually our most loyal staff. And this year will be his anniversary of the day he passed away last year's August and he has been one of our greatest mobile developer, our greatest PHP developer and as well our best and no one else can ever achieve what he has done of graphics design. He's our best graphic design ever. So I'd like to pay tribute to him and this will not happen without him. Thank you Mama Ashraf. Melvin? Yes. Once again, we'd like to commend and congratulate you on the success of, of your company so far. Thank you very much. You have come a very long way since starting your company with 30,000 in capital. Yes, you sir. were on our show last year and was eliminated in the first round. That's and correct. And yet you came back again this year with more ambition and more confidence by asking much more money <laughs> than last year. Yes, sir. <laughs> in fact, I think you know, the investment you sought that is 3 million ringgit is the highest amount asked by any of the competitors this year. We also, um, of course, we are a bit concerned about your strategy to um, change from providing white label solutions to going after the end customers directly. Obviously, it's a strategy that will pay off richly if it succeeds, but at the same time, it cannibalizes your existing business. So, we would like to make you a counter offer and let's see how much we are willing to invest in your company. Big money, big money, <laughs> big money. Come on. All right. Come on. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> one million ringgit. We are willing to invest one million ringgit for thirty-five percent of your company. Would, will you accept our offer? 35%. Um, um, I need to consider this further uh, if, there's, if I could give some time to, to consider for about a few minutes. Um, if, it's, if that's possible sure. to all you judges. Um, How many yeah. minutes do you need? Would you like to <laughs> think okay. about it? Yep. Yes. yes. How much time do you need? Um, I need like at least about um, 10 minutes. All right, 10 Commercial minutes. break. All right, we'll give you that 10 minutes, okay? Thank you so much. Sure. All right, of Thank course, you. it's a big business decision, big decision to make. We completely understand. Yeah. All right. I need time to make a big yeah. business decision. But, sure. but just yeah. know that it is there on the table. You, do, you don't have to go and, and uh, make another application, wait for, for a few more days or weeks or months. It is right 
there. Yes, I really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, 10 yeah. minutes has now become 8 minutes. Okay, okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. And our fifth finalist to meet the judges one last time for this season is Encik Fazruddin, who is the one half of Fashion Valley. Hi, I'm Fazza, the founder of FashionValley.net. Uh, we've started Fashion Valley since November 2010. We've started from just 10 designers, and now, just almost a year and a half uh, since we launched, we have already 80 designers. And most of them are from Malaysia, but we've also expanded into Indonesia, Thailand, and Singapore. So in the one and a half years that we've been running, we managed to gather ourselves, you know, a few thousand uh, users, uh, more than twenty thousand Facebook followers, almost five thousand Twitter followers. So we've built ourselves quite a good uh, marketing rep in the social media area. But when we sell our products, you know, we really sell the local designers because that's what we go for. We want to really push the local designers and we want to show, show the world what our local designers can do. Right now, of your purchases, uh, how many of them or how much uh, in terms of percentage, uh, percentage are overseas buyers versus local buyers? Uh, well, any, at the know? moment, we have uh, about 80% uh, local Malaysia, buyers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's and because we haven't been marketing uh, ourselves outside, okay. outside Malaysia. So in terms of the twenty percent, are they from regional or are they? This is a check of five thousand dollars from my EG. Be <laughs> <laughs> <need> surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you are terrible. But thanks. Yeah, thanks anyway. You know, thanks. now you guys can go. <laughs> quite anxious to see what the judges have to say. Uh, I'm so thankful that I got it to the finals, but you know, the next step is really the crucial part to see if we get the investment or not. So what is our strategy? Well, I really hope the judges will invest in us. You know, 1.5 million for 10%, that's what we asked for. And I'm sure they're gonna, if they do decide to invest, they're gonna ask for a lot more equity. So I'll just have to be prepared for that. Uh, welcome back, Fazaludin. First, uh, congratulations for you have made um, this far to the finals. And uh, I must say that we are uh, pleasantly surprised that with your professional qualification, you are entering into fashion world, which is an undying pro, uh, you know, industry actually. Yeah. Even in a recession, people keep on entering into the fashion world. Mm -hmm. And what pleases us uh, most is the fact that you are promoting Asian designers. So my EG um, is going to announce an offer. And um, you asked for 1.5 million. Yes. Uh, we will make an offer, maybe not meeting that, but I think you will be pleasantly surprised at the amount that we will be offering you. Okay. Look at the screen. It is um, slightly less than what you have requested. Okay. Uh, it is, I think, it's a fantastic figure. Yeah. But we are requesting for thirty-five percent of the equity. Would you consider accepting? You need a few more minutes, or you can say yes now. Thirty-five percent. Yeah. Is that offer negotiable? Slightly negotiable, depending um, how you could convince that you know you can persuade okay. me to. Okay. Well, I would like. Uh, to take 
one million ringgit for twenty five percent. We have to confer here. <laughs> <laughs> you need ten minutes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, we do. Uh, so there, are, there are two negotiations going on at the moment. Okay. The earlier one requested for what would be now another five minutes or four minutes. Okay. Um, uh, we need uh, five minutes, no okay. more than that, right. <laughs> until he comes back. But uh, sure. you think also, you know, we are haggling now. Uh, we move. Uh, up, you move down, we move up a bit, you know, so maybe you give us um, <laughs> five minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, sure. you can take leave for the moment and All then right. come back. Okay. Uh, Thank you very right. much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, it's been quite interesting so far, a lot of haggling and negotiating going on, but one can only expect that in a room full of entrepreneurs. Anyway, it's now time for our final entrepreneur to enter the room and hear his fate delivered to him by our judges. With that, I'd like to invite Mr. Chiu Kai Feng from CloudStats. Hi, my name is Chiu Kai Feng. I'm from Unisi Gabangsan, Malaysia's UKM's Bangis. I'm an ex actual student from UKM's. I'm currently developing a product called CloudStats. CloudStat is a cloud-based statistical software to let you analyze data at any way, any times. Before this, I have to analyze any data with the complex statistical software, which we have to use it in only laboratories in UKM. But now, we can do it just online. We can do it everywhere, any times. And then we can share with all our friends, our professors, at the same times when we post the data. So why I have such ideas? As we said before, I have Difficulties to use the statistical software because it's very expensive and we have to stick with our repertory in universities. So what we do is we make it online and then we can do analyze data at anywhere, anytime and using the high performance powers. So these are very innovative ideas and products because this will be can seen in US or Europe, not in yet in Malaysia. Uh, we have a tool cut similar products in market so we think we can outbid them. We need some funding to for the hostings and some maintenance and hire some technical people. Do you see data sources like Twitter? Is the data sources open or you are still selected to Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, any data. Yeah. Yeah any data. You're, you're calling Twitter native APIs? Yeah, it is a public Twitter API I we are using for this, this study case. So congratulations, you. you're through to the next round. Thank you very much. This is your check, 5,000 ringgit. Yeah. Thank you. From my EG. And uh, we want to see how you progress from now until the finals. Wow, this is the final. Hope I can get the investment. Yes, I hope for we can just like what is expected, 400,000 plus with a chance for 20% equity. Phil, you are still, you are still the uh, final student at uh, University of Bangsa, Malaysia, I believe. Just finished. Yeah. Just finished. Um, you started your business two years ago, three years ago, while you were an undergrad. So all these reminds us of, you know, the great stories of Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg starting from their dormitories. So we hope that you, know, you will one day. But at least it's not a dropout. <laughs> yes. At least <laughs> he can manage both together. Yes. But we hope that one day you will follow their footsteps and create a truly international product that we can all, that all Malaysians can be proud of. And we believe that CloudStat has the potential to produce a product that is a leader in its domain yeah so we would like to support you in this endeavor in your journey and this is what we would like to offer you have a look at the screen Thank you. Uh, you actually 
requested for only 400,000 ringgit. Yes. But we believe that you no, know, you might need a bit extra to compete internationally. So we're willing to invest 500,000 ringgit in your business in return for 35 percent equity in your company. Yeah. Would you accept the offer? Yes, I am accept the offer. Thank you. <laughs> we are the winner. <laughs> I don't care how much the investment, how much the equity is, but we are now is an investor of my UG. We can expand to international market. No? Cool. Okay, he's been given eight minutes to decide or to deliberate whether he will accept the offer of one million ringgit uh, from my EG uh, with, of course, 35% equity. Let's re-invite into the pitching arena Mr. Melvin Wong from uh, FanXT Sport. <laughs> okay, I know a tough decision to make. <laughs> it's one that could change your life. It will change my life. Uh, first of all, I would just like to say an, again a very, great f a very thank you to all the judges for believing in my business. Um, uh, I would like to counter over this way, if you allow me. Um, could we agree on 25% today? Um, however, uh, as you know, that I'll be continuing to seek more investments in US and UK. Yeah. Um, if I will be able to seek a further at least 2 million ringgit, would you be willing to further dilute your shares to value to a company of perhaps um, 15%? percent? Yeah. I think we are uh, haggling too much here. Okay. Okay. We have made our offer one million. Uh, we are willing to reduce our equity portion to 30 okay. and that's it. Um, yes, it has come to take it or leave it situation. Okay. All right. Yes, so, well, I guess I do not have much choice but to accept your offer. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you uh, and the, now the judges have decided that they're ready uh, to meet Fadzaruddin one more time. Um, once again, offer was 1,035,000. Um, now um, we're trying to see uh, if he manages to get it down to 25% equity. We'll see. Anyway, uh, once again, uh, to enter and meet the judges is Encik Fadzaruddin from Fashion Valley. <laughs> okay, um, after conferring, um, uh, we are sorry, we decline.